Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Brema and in today's episode, I'll be walking you guys through how I make, how I screen print personally. And uh, in this video specifically, I'll be going through the design, getting the transparency ready, uh, coding the screen, burning the screen, preparing the screen and printing an actual t-shirt. So this, this is like a couple day process. Uh, we filmed from like various days. Uh, for you guys, if you know screen printing, it does take a couple of days. Sometime when you coat the screens, you have to leave them overnight to dry. And then the next day you gotta burn them, wash them. And it just it's just very tedious for time. Uh, but yeah, this is a whole process of how I screen print t-shirt for my brand. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. You should talk through it. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. So, so with screen printing, uh, basically working with layers, each each color will be its own screen. Um, and basically, the way it works is I'll come here and just I'll select the same same fill color. And when I'm printing, I just I just basically match these two to create this. And the more color you, you know, that's just just a quick example. It's not quite all the way matched, but that's how it would look. It'd be two different screen. The first one is the lighter layer. The second one is the dark layer. Uh, saving the file as a PDF here on my little flash drive. Save PDF. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm saving it as a PDF because when when you go to the print shop. It doesn't scale, so it stays the same size. All right, so all the files are in here. We're about to hit the screenshot. I'll bring my laptop just in case anything goes wrong, but everything is here. got the transparencies I decided to go here because it's uh, it's closest to our studio but you could go anywhere from uh, either your local uh, shop for printing FedEx is a great place to as well but this is the closest yeah so right now since uh, since a print shop only prints 11 by 11 by 17 uh, and these graphics are way bigger than that I've decided to get it printed uh, on two separate sheets and then I'm just taping everything together uh, so you can see the bigger oh this is gonna be nice it's gonna be nice It's like a two color, an outline and a, and a fill. So I'm just gonna go in and I'll burn these on the 156 mesh count screen. Uh, so I'm gonna go line them up in the dark room right now. Four different screens, so that's the first one. Second, third, and then the fourth. 
forth. So all these screens are going to make up one design, so four different colors. Uh, yeah, and then now I'm just going to go burn it and then we'll just wash all of them. So right now this is my burning unit. It's 25 by 36, which it's big enough for me to fit most of my screens, but there's a lot of different ways you could burn a screen. I know like one that a lot of people talk about, it's like you could literally expose it right outside with the sun. But this one just made things easier for me. And if you don't, you could, you could buy even like a small light kit from like your local art store. Blick is recommended, but, uh, and my timer doesn't change, so I leave the same timer. It works for all my graphics. All right, so the... <laughs> all right, so I just got done burning this one, so I'll take it off and then, uh, and then I'll go wash it off. But quick, quick, uh, quick tip, when you're burning the screen, you want your design to be opposite. I actually made the mistake recently and printed, like burned everything uh, inverted, so. You, you just want to make sure like the back of it it's you can read it backward because then when it goes right on here it will be it will be straight so you can kind of see it from the inside and then a lot of times I'll, I'll know the design burnt wall if there's like a like a I don't know like an outline of it yeah, right on the screen uh, so this one should wash out really easy and this is this is how i do it like any of the techniques i'm showing you guys it's not like oh you have to do this or you're gonna mess up this is just over the years of me screen printing i found that this works for me so i'll i'll just scrub the with my hand with water just like right on the back and then i'll do the inside that way it just breaks down the emulsion and then i'll just wash it off really easy So now you can already see like the designs coming to life. step I just use this hose I got from Home Depot uh, and then I'll put the setting to flat and then just right on it uh, sometimes some of the uh, some of the emulsion won't wash all the way so I'll just put it over a light source to see the whole design and this one looks great I'll just Fan it real quick, and I'll be good to go. Alright, one thing, uh, so earlier on, I remember like my first time doing screen, like screen printing, I burnt the screen, washed it off, and left it sitting like this, and all the emotions just like drip down. Uh, so you don't want to do that, you just want to always make sure you put it on a flat surface, a lot of times you could buy like a uh, drying unit online with a fan or you could also build your own. But right now, since our studio have like industrial fan, I'll just fan it right over this. So I'll put it right over here and it will dry it. And that works for me. Uh, and a lot of these techniques that I'm sharing, it's just like based off of like personal experience. I'm not trying to be like, I know it all or anything like that. I'm just sharing like kind of what works for me.
All right, so here are some of the screens that I'm gonna be using to print today. Uh, we've already used these screens over the past couple of days for our uh, open studio. Uh, so this is like a four color design. This is the first color, which is gray, and then the black goes right over it. Uh, and then we have the text here, the unfinished. Uh, inside and then this is the outline. So it's a full color design. Um, I'll go to the screen printing setup and set it up and do a quick test print before I run a like an actual uh, print. So let's go to, this, to the screen printer. So a lot of times I'll start with the first color, the first layer, which is usually like the lighter, lighter layer. Um, place that here, just roughly, and then I'll place the rest of them, and then I'll just line everything up before I run, before I start printing. All right, for me, since most of my designs are in that super complex, it, it, it makes it easier for me to like align everything. Uh, so I'll usually like print the first layer and then kind of eye everything. Uh, so I kind of, I know the center. And this is after years of doing it. Like I, I get, I have an idea of like this, where the center is and like, what I kind of need to do to get like the lining easy. As I said, like most of my designs are in that complex and four color isn't too bad. Uh, so the first layer, as you could see, it's kind of like in the middle. Um, and then I'll match the second color, print that. And then the third color, which goes right around it. Um, it's just a bunch of like layering. Yeah, so right now I'm just aligning the second color to the to the first color that I did, like the under under base. Um, and it looks like I have to pull the other one forward just a little bit. So I'll just print this one. And then lift it up. It, it's not matched completely, but I'm pretty close. Uh, so you, as you can see, it's a little offset. So that means I, I just gotta pull this one just a little bit higher and shift it just a little bit. But also sometimes like for my personal style, I like, I don't like everything to be perfect. That's just my own aesthetic. So I, I, I would even like consider just running with this. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'll make sure everything matches because this is not what everyone is looking. Uh, to do with their designs, I guess. All right, so here's here's just a quick test print. So I did, I printed on the back of the shirt and then also the first test print was this one. It's kind of blotchy because I, I didn't match it completely the first time. So the second one, much cleaner. Uh, everything matched perfectly. All right, so now I'm ready to just go do a whole run. So I'll go ahead and print this one this t-shirt right here we'll do right front and a lot of times like so most most graphic will fall four fingers so four fingers from the the collar um, so I, I use this as like reference a lot of times This is the first layer. Uh, so the first, the the first couple layers, this is just like flash drying it, uh, so I could, so when I do the second layer, it doesn't stick, uh, and the ink is dry. So just a couple seconds, and like. You could kind of, the more you do it, the kind of, you, you get a better idea of like how long you need. Uh, and then this is the second layer. 
the block. As you can see, it came out really good. So I'll flash dry this one. And then we're ready for the third layer. And then this is the last color here. I didn't match this one quite yet, but I'll just I'll just do that right now because it's a little easier to match the, the last red color. I'll just run it. I think the most stressful thing about screen printing is like when you, you're doing work for clients, it gets really, really like tricky because everything has to be perfect. That's why I, I personally don't take any client work because I, I find it to be more stressful because I put a lot of pressure on myself to make sure everything is right. Whereas in like with my own personal projects, I will, I'll just kind of, you know, free flow it. And if I mess up, like I, there's room like I, I allow room for mistakes whereas in like if i'm doing like a paid gig like you can't mess up everything has to be perfect and a lot of time that's really gets really stressful and it takes the fun away from it um, well perfect um, as you could see, everything matched. The only thing is I'll probably just clean this, the back of the screen so I don't get that red stain right there. But so far everything looks good. I'll just uh, do a final drawing. I don't have a, like a belt dryer. I'm, I'm using my flash dryer to uh, fully dry the thing. I have this heat gun that tells me the temperature so I'll just make sure all the corners are at 320 degrees all right there you go So thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions or any specific things that I should go in depth with just leave it in, down in the comments below and I'll, we'll take a look at it and try to make a video and if you have any questions too just feel free to reach out on Instagram and connect there again I'll tag everyone below uh, the videographer my brand uh, music so make sure to check everybody out again feel free to subscribe like this video peace